you know, since I was a little kid, you know, foster care, that's just what I always wanted to do. And um, I felt like if I couldn't make it through boot, if I couldn't get it through that because of the issues, legal issues that I've had, that the best way to do is try what to were the legal infiltrate issues? that. What were the legal issues? I got an attempt to sexual assault. How old was she? She was 15. When I found out later, she was 15. How old were you? At the time, I was 18. Going on 19. I had no clue. Legal issue. I fucked up. Marine Corps told me no. Why'd you take the plea then? Why'd I take the plea? I had no money. I have no family. I didn't know what to do. I didn't. I pull, I, I know, I know to the detail. I pulled the fucking record. So, I took that. They gave me probation. Fucked up probation. That's what they gave me. So then I have to ask this. If you want to be part of something that you never were, how many years have you been doing it before you met me? You met me at least three years ago. How many years? Because you met me when I was with my ex-fiance. That's, right hmm? That's right after I got out of prison. That's right after I got out of prison. What's the thing? How long? Uh, oh. I've only been out for about a year and a half. No, how long years. were you in prison? Two years. 30 months. No. So... Because if you pull up my record from Louisiana, I have that there too. That's two I years left, in total. I left Katie because of my suicidal thoughts in the Marine Corps. She left me because of that. You know that, right? Because you were there for that. You said you were a Marine then. All right? That was 2011. So how long have you been doing this? Since then. Since 2011. Any time before that? No. So from 2011 to 2017, as of now, you have been claiming the title of United States Marine. Yes. To your step parents now? And my foster parents? My foster parents? Um, don't really talk to them too much, so no. Because your stepdad was in the army, wasn't he? Foster dad? Foster dad? Yes. And you lied to him? No, I haven't talked to him. He doesn't know anything about this. I never told him anything of this nature. I haven't seen him since I aged out the system. And that's the guy I honestly. <coughs> the organizations have given you money. Just you guys. How many Marines? From what locations? Just you guys. No one in Chicago. In Cincinnati? No, that is, um, that was Global One World Global Financial. That was my pre-settlement loan. I have documentation and emails to prove that. So a Marine from Chicago gave you how much money? Um, I think he gave me 25. I think that was JR. 2,500? 20, no, that's the only one? No, there's a few other guys. I just don't have records of what they gave He gave you $2,500? No, he gave me $25. $25. Did someone give you, who was it that gave him $850? Nobody. Uh, that was David Benson. He said it was $820. $820. $820. Not $820. It was about $150. It wasn't $820. That's what we call it. No, that's how much he's raised for me. It's with you guys. And then what David Vincent writes for me. You told me that it was. He got me to almost like 700. And, the and then. Records of that shit. Yeah, I screenshot it. And then what's his name? Uh, Come on. Uh, the guy with the two kids up in uh, Hank Dallas. Lawrence. Hank Lawrence, he gave me. Flash Bank. The rest. Flash Bank, he gave me the rest. Which was about six or seven dollars, if not more. <laughs> yeah. 660, to be exact. Single father, too. It's fruit out of his kids' mouths you took. It's a month's rent. Think about that. Insurance. Continue to think about that. Clothes for the kids. Put that shit in your fucking head and metabolize it. There's actually a bunch of people you're hanging around with that have fucking kids that are in fucking custody battles right now. You put in jeopardy. Me, fucking Dustin. I know you don't want to fucking catch a fucking fist from Dustin. And you know, you made that scene at the bar at Buck Wild, and Lauren immediately knew who you were. She called you out, and she told me that 
that's what fucking pisses me off now too that I hear it now that fucking pisses me off because she told me you weren't a Marine she said he's not even a Marine he didn't make the boot camp because she pulled some records on you she asked some people and I didn't believe her because she's my shitty fucking piece of shit ex-wife and I took your word over it and you said you were a fucking Marine and that she's full of shit when my ex-wife was I guess the only true statement she's ever told me <laughs> is that you weren't a Marine and, and you told me to my face, man. And she knew your name. Obviously, she pulled your record, but she didn't pull your criminal background. And had she done that, I immediately would have lost my children. And you know how much anyone that's seen my fucking Snapchat or my Facebook knows how much I love my kids. I cut off both my nuts from my kids right now. Fuck it. Throw the dick in there, too. Someone stuff it and keep it. Dibs. <laughs> Second season. Nice. I get the screw. Oh, swaps? Shot him last. No, And you knew that. You knew that. And you know that you're registered and you're obligated to tell anybody that has children or anyone of underage, you're obligated to tell them that you're a registered sex offender for until 2020. 20 what? 25? 20 right? 20 27. 2027. 20 right? You knew that. I know you knew that because you went through it. You knew that. You put Angel at risk. You put me at risk and my children. You know how hard it was just to get a fucking house and it, at that a house with my parents, which is fucking embarrassing enough. And, and you just put to do me that. at risk for the trust of a fucking group of Marines, a group of stellar fucking Marines that actually give a shit about a cause. Most of these motherfuckers in this room have never shared space before tonight. That's what this shit is about. You're not part of that. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. I opened my motherfucking door to you. You heard a lot of shit about me. Based on that. You have no fucking clue the amount of restraint and patience. You also shared with me, please turn the recordings off for a minute. So, I'm going to turn this video camera on right now. What's your name again? My name is Kyle, last name Brown. And just tell me about your military career one more time. I started in 2007 and I finished in 2012. And you went to Fort Benning, correct? Like was. And your MOS was grounds? No, at the time I started at grounds, but I worked my way up to E5 and I was MP. You were an MP and you went to basic training at Fort Benning? <clears throat> and what MOS is an MP? Uh, no. You don't know? Mm -hmm. And you don't know what you know you're in? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, like I said, I got a lot of personal problems as well, man. Nothing that is affecting from working or, you know, doing things that are capable of knowledge. It's just I have a lot of post-traumatic stress disorders I suffer from. I understand. Right so just right now, like... Especially after doing, we said, two tours? Yeah, I did. I went for four and a half years, well, four years, and then I came You deployed for, for four years? I did. At one time? So you deployed four years straight? 2007, I got out in, right before Thanksgiving. So you... You deployed from 2007 to what What month in 2007 to when? Uh, like I said, right before Thanksgiving. It was right before November. So you deployed, so you left on Thanksgiving in 2007? Uh, right before I did. Like you left your deployment or you left? My uh, basic training and all that. So you left basic training and went straight to the deployment? Mm -hmm. And you deployed for four years straight? Yeah, during Barack Obama's So you deployed from 2007 to 2012? 2000. And then I got reenlisted in 2012. So you you did you but you were in country from yeah, 2007. Active duty, active duty. But were you deployed to Iraq? Uh, Tehran, the capital of Iran. So you were deployed there for three years, and that's in Iraq. Uh, no, it's in Iran. All right, it's in Iran. Iran, Iran. Yeah. So you were in Iran for three years, with no breaks. No breaks. I mean, uh, also, I mean, I didn't station, but I mean, I was at Poland. I was overseas and some places in Baghdad. And you said you were a ranger as well? No, I was MP. 
but you said you told me earlier you were a ranger. Trained in the BMP for a ranger. You said you went to ranger school? No, sir. So you didn't go to ranger school? No, So you're not a ranger? No. Okay. So you told me you were a ranger, but you weren't a ranger. MP, I mean. MP is not a ranger. It's classified as one. No, it's not. An MP is not classified as a ranger at all. An MP is a military police officer. Ranger school is a, a school that people go to uh, to get a ranger tab that's classified you as a ranger qualified. In order to be a ranger, you have to be in a ranger battalion, which is in Fort Benning. Oh, there's multiple ranger battalions, but right, right, so I get you. there's one in Fort Benning. Okay. So you weren't in ranger or ranger battalion? Uh, not, not that I'm aware of. Like I said, not uh, that you're aware of. Have you ever heard of something called stolen valor? It's somebody that uh, acts like they were served or something Correct. like that. Correct. I get so, it. And it's pretty ridiculous people would, would go out and say those things, right? right. You, would, you would agree. So I spent time in the military. Um, I was in, I went to Fort Benning, and then I went to Fort Bragg as well. I, mean, I went to Fort Benning, I understand, I went to Fort Bragg, uh, trained there. I was in Fort Benning, I was in infantry. I went to Bragg, I was in the 82nd Airmore Division. I spent time in the military, so I'm pretty familiar with these things. Um, the fact that you don't know your MOS, the fact that you don't know your unit, the fact that you don't know, the, the things that you're telling me don't add up, is what I'm getting at. That's why I'm videotaping you right now. Um, what was your roster number? Do you have any information? Uh, all of that's in my storage unit. Man. Really? Like, I mean, honestly, man, I have the paperwork and all that. I can uh -huh. provide that for you if you want to see right. it and all that. I mean. You right have now. a DD-214? Not that I'm aware of. You don't know what a DD-214 is? No. Yeah. So, um, in order to get out of the military, you would need a DD-214. It would show your active enlistment. It would show the time that it you... It was a discharge, right? It would show you when you were discharged. It would show your time and service period. It's just a transcript, though. A DD-214 shows your military career. Yeah, it's a transcript with everything on it, when you got out, when you served, and all that. Exactly. Other than that, it don't say nothing else. But it shows that you served. It shows your name, your social security number, the time you got right. in, the time you got out. Right. Right. You don't have a DVD 214? I can go off Evans and go get the paperwork for you and bring it to you, man. Yeah. And you don't know what your MOS was? Like I said, I was E5. I mean. Right. So E5 is your, your rank. rank, but your MOS, like I asked you earlier, if you were 11 Bravo, so on, so on, so on. Mm -hmm. Those are different questions. That's the MOS. So if you do not know your MOS or your unit, raises some serious questions for me. I got you. And what was your name again? My name is Kyle. Okay. Do you have your social security number? Not on me. Like I said, I could provide that for you. You I'm don't know I'm, I'm couch surfing, my man. Like everything that I have that actually established out here in the state of Colorado is in storage unit. So as of right now, this is what I see. I see you're walking around with a grunt style t-shirt on. I see you're walking around telling me that you're in the military, but you don't have any information telling me you're in the military. You don't have your MOS. You don't have your unit name. You don't have anything like that. There's no way in hell you would have served in the military and not know what your MOS was, much less your unit number. Okay, you, you say so, my man. No, I know so, okay. for a no, fact. No disrespect to you or nothing like that. Right? There's no fucking way in hell yeah. I beg that to you differ. would, you beg to differ. You're sitting here telling me that you were in the military and you don't know your goddamn MOS. I can provide it for you. I doubt it. I would, I would, I will delete this video. You go get me your DD-214. But if not, I'm gonna upload this shit to Stolen Valor and you'll be contacted. You do realize it's illegal, right? Mm -hmm. And that you can be arrested. Mm -hmm. Absolutely absurd that you would come around here and tell me this. And I'm the one person you probably shouldn't have ran into. Yeah. I'm sure that most people believe this shit. Look it up, I'll find it for you to show you then. <laughs> Bring it to me. Okay. Bring me your DD 214. Show me. Be I'll be here all day. Afternoon? I'll be here all day. You have my word, I'll bring it to you then. I'll